what you guys got another video here for you on how to transfer your Microsoft Office uh, license to another computer and this can be your Office 365 or just general uh, Office Microsoft Office so let's take a look at how we can go about doing this first off you're going to need to make sure what version that you're running and make sure that you have the ability to uh, transfer to another PC because once it's been in use once, sometimes Microsoft only allows a certain amount of times for you to actually transfer it. Sometimes only one, sometimes three, depending on if it's a student version. So first off, what I'm going to do is go to the location where the Office Suite is installed here. You can see it's in this location here, Office 16. And what I'm going to do here is click here, and you can see there's a path here. So I'm going to copy this path, and this is how we're going to tell which version we have got if you've forgotten uh, what version you've got. Next, I'm going to type CMD and open this up. It don't have to be as administrator, but just run it as you can see here. Type CD and then space and then that path that you've got here. And this will put you into that folder. Next up, what you need to do is run this little uh, script here. Just put this code in. And basically, once you put that in and push enter, it will tell you what version of Microsoft Office you are running on this system and you can see here these are the version you can see here i've got a retail version which means this can be transferred over to another computer and it may only be allowed to do this one time so that's uh, uh the license agreement there we got so what i'm going to do now is head over to the system here and what i'm going to do is go to control panel and uninstall uh, the actual program itself first so let's go to control panel and then what we're going to do is go to programs and features uh, and then literally uninstall the program itself. So we just go there, programs and features on the left hand side. Inside here, you'll see Microsoft Office and I'm going to click on this and literally I'm going to uninstall it. Ready to uninstall, just click uninstall and remove this from your PC. You'll start removing all of the files of the computer. And once this is completed, we can then log into our Microsoft uh, account you're, where you've got your licensing and stuff. So we'll do that once this is uninstalled. It may take a bit of time. So that's now done uninstalling our Office Suite. So that's done. Please close. And what we can do here is go over to here and log into our Microsoft account. Now, if you've got an Office 365, you'd sign in here and it will give you a, a deactivation uh, button there, which you can click on deactivation. So just put in your registration uh, information here, which will be your email and your password, okay? And you're pretty much good to go from there. So I'm just gonna quickly do that off camera. There we go. And uh, you should see something like this here, uh, view product key. And you should also see deactivation install. This is where you're going to deactivate that registration for that particular computer. And uh, when you click on deactivation install, it will give you another window and basically allow you to deactivate it so you can copy it over. Also in your devices, you'll see a list of devices here which are being used for these. And I'm going to remove the ones which were using that piece of software previously. So it doesn't get confused and thinks it's installed on another machine. So I'm going to remove that here like so. so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, download the software and you should see something like install here. And this is going to give us the installation file. So it will pull the files down and allow us to install it on our system. So when you're on your new PC, uh, you would log into your Microsoft account on that new PC and then you would click on install and this will allow you to download here. You can also copy the, um, the actual product key here and activate it that way uh, on your new PC. And I'll show you how to do that. So click on install and this will start downloading the files that it needs to install. And uh, click on here and literally uh, open this up. Say yes to the user account control here, and now Office will start to open up and start to install on the system. So just give it a bit of time to install. It does take a fair bit of time, so be patient and let it pull all the files down and install them. And once that's done, we can go ahead and uh, activate 
a product. Now, remember that it depends on what type of license you've got, which will allow you to transfer this over. If it's an OEM version, it more than likely is not going to allow you to reinstall it on another PC. It might be bound to that PC. Uh, some student ones will allow you to install it on three to five different devices. Uh, also, some licensing may only allow you to install it just one time on another PC. So if you've got one PC and you uninstall it and deactivate it, you'll only be allowed to do it one more time on another PC and then it's locked to that PC. That sometimes happens too. So just bear all that in mind and look up uh, your type of license like I showed you. So what you need to do here is log into your system here and literally what that will do is activate your product and literally connect it to that PC and bind it to there. You can click continue here and it will continue to say activate office, put your password and your email in and it should come back say product activated just like this one here. Now if you're having trouble activating it, what you can do is try to change the license and go back to your Microsoft website where you've logged in and basically paste in your license key in there and then try to activate it that way and hopefully uh, it will activate. If you're still having issues and you know you have got a legitimate version and you can activate, then contact Microsoft and hopefully they will be able to resolve that problem for you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can transfer your Microsoft Office over to another computer or new computer. You can only have that running on one PC at a time unless you've got a multi-device uh, license. Anyway, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.